Five percent, no good to nobody, is it? Do you think you can win this strike? Yes, I do. They called it the winter of discontent. It seemed as if everyone was on strike. I think it stinks like all the other damn strikes in this country run by the filthy socialist communist unions. The garbage men were out. So were the ambulances. And if you died, the gravediggers were out too. With the economy in apparently terminal decline, the people voted for a new conservative government, headed by Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. Far away in the South Atlantic, a British expeditionary force was at sea. Argentina had seized the Falkland Islands from Britain. Margaret Thatcher risked a war to make the islands British once again. Six, eight now, one, two, six, eight now, set! Before the war, her popularity was at rock bottom. Victory in the Falklands ensured the survival of Margaret Thatcher's government. The Falklands saved her. The Falklands gave her a new lease of life to implement the policies on which she had embarked, which were not yet producing results. In effect, she gambled all on the Falklands, and she won decisively. And that, of course, not only greatly bolstered her standing within the Tory party, it bolstered her standing in the country, and it greatly enhanced her reputation internationally. The Falklands War set her up politically to fight the final battle for the soul of the British economy. The impact would be worldwide. In 1945, Attlee's Labour government had nationalized the commanding heights of the economy, bringing core industries into state ownership. For Thatcherites, these state industries were now the primary target. The fiery Marxist who led the National Union of Miners said no mine should be closed until the coal ran out. The issue before our members is very clear. They either accept the policies of the coal board and the government, which will result in the loss of 70,000 jobs, or alternatively, they stand on their feet like men, they fight, defend their jobs, defend their pits, and defend their dignity. The strike was an epic clash of values, which symbolized the wider battle of ideas. Socialist against capitalist, free market against state ownership. And it was a question of power. Who ruled Britain? Illegal mass picketing outside working mines led to violent clashes with the police. It was the next thing to, you know, to, to a war. We were faced with a, an enemy, and that enemy was out to destroy our livelihoods, out to destroy our pits, out to destroy our communities and what our communities stood for. Miners and their families had a set of values that I don't think Margaret Thatcher could understand. Values of socialism and Christianity, the two things went hand in hand in many ways. For more than a year, the miners held out, until internal rifts and the desire of many to return to work 
brought the walkout to an end. And then, suddenly, it collapsed, the strike, and the most powerful union with the most militant leader had failed. Britain has changed. Today, less than 3,000 work in the mines.